So this video is gonna be about the mass airflow sensor from this Mercedes C-Class with a 2.2 liters diesel engine. It has a four wire connector, which means that it might have as well the intake air temperature sensor. Now we need to remove as well this PCV hose because it stays in the way of that screw, which holds the mass airflow sensor unit on the air filter housing. Okay, so it's very important that this hose is going to be flexible enough. Otherwise, if you find it brittle, you have to remove it and replace it. So you're going to need a T20. Alright, finally. Okay, so it looks like this type of mass airflow sensor is used on newer cars as well. But anyway, we've got here some oil inside, so we need to use mass airflow sensor cleaner. And actually this is the airflow direction, so... Now let's let it dry for a while. Now before checking the voltage values, let's have a look on the scan tool. Okay, so the green line is gonna be the airflow rate. We've got the calculated load value and the engine speed. So for example, now here we've got 37% delivery of the power from 100% possible power. What happens when the engine is delivering maximum power or more power? It's gonna need more air, more fuel, different sensors will behave different. And that's why we want to compare the airflow rate against the load value and the engine RPM. So we can see here the purple line is engine load value and the airflow rate is kind of following up the spikes this is what you want to see you can see here it went down and also the airflow rate went down immediately and here it's kind of steady and you can see even this little spike here it does follow up but we've got here for example some disproportional signals kind of because we've got here a decrease in load value very little one but the decrease in the airflow rate is a lot larger and by the way, this little difference here can be caused by a dirty mass airflow sensor. Now, if you look here when the engine RPM is around 900 or 800, the mass airflow rate is also around 7 or 8 grams per second. But anyway, overall, the signal is in proportion with the load value. And all these small differences can be caused by a dirty mass airflow rate sensor. That's what we rectify today. Let's go ahead and check the voltage values of the connector. But first I want to check the resistance on the pins from the mass airflow sensor unit. So we can see in there the pins are numbered. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so between pin number 1 and 2 we've got open. 1 and 3 open. 1 and 4 open. Now let's see between pin number 2 and 3. 217,000 ohms between 2 and 4. 219,000 ohms. Now let's see between 3 and 4. 2,564 ohms. So these are the resistance values you need to read on the sensor. Now to check the voltage values, I'm going to connect the negative terminal of the voltmeter on the ground. I've got a good ground here. And I'm going to turn the ignition on. We've got basically pin number 4 from the left here. 5 volts. Pin number 3. Nothing. Pin number 2. 12 volts and pin number one 4.7 volts so we've got the sensor in and i'm going to check the voltage values now so i'm holding the sensor this way i'm going to start with this wire here we've got 2.2 so it looks like this first wire here is the signal wire from the mass airflow sensor because if i do like this you can see the voltage change so that's very sensitive let's go to second wire here we've got the car battery voltage let's see the third wire here we've got nothing and then here we should find the signal wire from the temperature sensor so you can definitely see that voltage decrease because i'm holding this flame next to the intake air temperature sensor so these were the values you need to read you can see it's still dropping because it's getting warmer so we've got good reaction of the airflow rate sensor and the intake air temperature sensor now it's time to install it back.
Okay, so the sensor is back and on this car we need to clean the oil from the intake pipes because we've got massive oil leaks inside and obviously I believe it's coming from this oil separator. Okay, so thanks for watching. Check out the playlist. I've got a couple of more videos about this engine. Take care and I will see you in the next video.